Good morning, guys. So the only thing scarier than driving this big giant truck is trying to back up this big giant truck. So today I'm working on installing my backup camera. I've already done a couple of the steps, as you can see. I'm gonna tell you what these steps are and then I'm going to show you how I'm putting the whole thing together. So first things out, the first thing I did, literally first things out, the first thing I did was I popped the rivets on my reverse light. Just one of them, it's all you really need so that I can get inside and expose the wires so that I can work with them. The next thing I did was I went inside and I ran the wire for my backup camera down inside of the channel at the very back of the truck. I'll show you what that looks like now but we can see the whole wire running its way through, down, feeding into the reverse light. So once I went through and I got the wire ran down the channel, I was able to pop it out through this guy. There's a couple other components that I need. I'm gonna grab those in a second, but first I just wanna show you my backup camera and talk about it. This is the camera that I'm going to use. It's pretty simple. Um, it has um, it has infrared lights so I can see at night. It has lights on it so that I can see at night and see, period. Um, it's a Wi-Fi backup camera, so it doesn't have to be hardwired into like a screen or anything like that. I can pull up the footage using an app on my phone, which is pretty great. I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to mount it to the top of my truck in a minute um, and then have all my wires run inside. And it, yeah, it seems to be a pretty simple system. I've never installed a backup camera before. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to grab some of the other things that we need and tell you about the role that those are supposed to play. And then we'll get to connecting the wires into my reverse light. The only problem I'm experiencing right now is that there's a little bit of uncertainty. So I need to do a little research because the two wire color colors are blue and white. And I'm not sure which one of those is supposed to be the live wire. I want to assume it's the white wire is the live wire, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to look it up and figure it out. So this is the splice that I'm going to use to connect the wires and working with it is pretty simple. I did some research into which one of these wires is the positive, the blue or the white and <laughs> the search results have been a little inconclusive. From what I can tell, most likely it seems like the blue wire is the positive wire. Um, I'm honestly not 100% sure of that so what I'm going to do is I guess I'm gonna risk it and see what happens um, in true summer fashion. So I'm gonna connect it. I'll connect the red wire, positive wire to the blue wire and the black wire to the white wire. And then we'll go inside, plug in the backup camera, turn on the reverse, the reverse, um, put the truck in reverse and test it out and see what happens. In terms of the splice, it's pretty simple. Uh, the way that you use it, there's this little guy here. I'm not sure if you can see it. This is what taps into the wire. So you go ahead, you know what? I'll just show you, let's go. So I'm gonna take the splice and there's one tube that runs all the way through and then there's one tube that has kind of like a, a block at the end of it. I'm gonna go ahead and snap it on for the wire that's connected to the light to run all the way through. And then I'm gonna take my positive wire and I'm gonna slip it inside of this guy. Oops, too far. Slip it inside of this guy until I hit the block. Once you do that, your next task is to use some pliers. Once you do that, your next task is to use some pliers and compress the metal piece. That's gonna tap into the wires. You wanna make sure that that metal piece, I know you couldn't quite see it, but this guy here, you wanna make sure that this metal piece goes all the way in 
through both of the wires. And then once it does, you're gonna take this little flap here and you're gonna close it around and snap it close. And then, oh no, it came out. Dang it, okay, I have to fix it. So the wire popped out, I'm gonna go in and try to fix it. I honestly should have grabbed this before anyway, so that I could give myself just a little bit more wire room. So I'm gonna cut away some of this outer covering on the wires for the reverse camera. being careful not to cut into the actual wires while I am cutting away, there we go, the plastic cover, perfect. Now, I need to get this inside of this guy so that it can break the wire and cut it through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put slits in it to expose down to my actual wire to make sure that we're making, that we're actually making contact. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna slide this one in there. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this back as well. So what I should have did differently a minute ago, um, the wire comes with a little bit of it already, um, with a little bit of the insulation cover shaved away. I should have probably cut this away so that this thing was only cutting into the wire, but I didn't do that. Hence the, the little bit of a problem I ended up with a second ago. but it's not 100% a big deal because I think I was able to fix it. All right, so we'll go ahead and close this up and close this guy back up as well. See if I can go ahead and get everything back into place the way we need. If not, I could always just pull the wires out and do it again, but there we go. wire snug this wire snug all right so i'm gonna do a better job with the negative wire to make sure we don't end up with that same predicament i'm gonna just i'm not gonna cut it off i'm just gonna fold it over and we're gonna try this one more time so sliding the long wire make sure it's the right direction all right cool so i'm gonna slide this wire in to this guy then I'm gonna take this slide it all the way into the back make sure that this is in there really well nice and good change my position a little bit like so we're all in there. A little paranoid, I'm just gonna double check. All right, cool. 
right, we're all in there as we want to be. And go ahead and All right, the metal is compressed all the way through. The wires are nice and snug. And I can close the case up now. So I'll go ahead and snap this guy close. All right, so the wires are connected. I'm gonna go inside the truck and we can test our camera and see how it worked out. All right, so my truck is on and it's in reverse i'm coming around to check the lights and there's power coming through my reverse light is activated we're gonna go inside and see if everything is connecting properly with the camera and giving us actual video feed all right so i'm sitting here with my backup camera and my phone i needed to download the app that goes along with this camera which is swd camera i have the camera connected here and I have the Wi-Fi um, I have the Wi-Fi connected for the camera uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and open the app and we'll see what we're working with maybe I can point the camera outside all right so I'm gonna go ahead let's see all right so I'll go ahead and open the app and we'll see what we're working with Oh, and there it is. We have success. Ah, so happy about that. So just like that, my backup camera is connected. I need to install it on the outside of the truck, which means drilling some holes, running this wire around, and some other things. Um, but the process was really pretty simple, and I'm happy that I'm going to have eyes behind me when I back this thing, back this thing up. Yeah. All right, so that's all I have for you. I'm going to go through and do the process of mounting the camera on the truck. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me do that part because it's really not that difficult. All I have to do is drill a hole that I can run my wire through, uh, screw the camera on to the truck, attach it, um, and then... Um, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. So I'll show you a little glimpse of what that looks like now. And there you have it. 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 So I ran the wire through this hole that I drilled through the trim. If we go around into the inside, we can see the wire coming through. I had to cut the wire apart in order to get the end through because it was kind of, there you go, it's kind of fat. So I spliced it together and then my wire runs <laughs> we're losing it. Runs all the way down to the reverse light. There you go. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it could be better and you want to give it a thumbs down, tell me ways that I can improve it. Improve it. I'm always willing and open to uh, constructive criticism and growth. I may regret ever saying this sentence out loud into um, the YouTube verse, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Summer Seeking. Um, tell a friend. All of those things. That's all I got. Peace.